Yo, call me an elephant the way I put you in my trunk. Carity, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates. Today, and only today, I have watched the Mario Wonder trailer 1,000 times. And what better way to celebrate the 1,000 first time by watching it here with you and telling you all little things that I noticed. All right, so let's get right into this. So first of all, we got a little flower guy right here, right? Onwards and upwards, right? Big chillin'. Now, again, there's a lot of questions about this guy. Will he be voice acted, you know, the whole game? Will he talk to you the entire game? Will he be annoying? Most likely, you know, maybe there's a way to turn him off, but I hope there isn't because I like the way he kind of bothers you. There's some joy I feel to it. It reminds me a little bit of myself in some way. So the world zooms out and... We don't talk about this enough, how the beginning right here is actually showing the flower power up that you get later. So the game is definitely centered around this little flower uh, power up. And also you can see down here one of the power ups that you're going to get later in the game uh, that I don't think is the elephant power up we see. I think this might be something else. Maybe this is like a, a grass type Mario that we haven't seen. We haven't really seen a grass leaf Mario. I mean, we've seen leaf Kirby, but it's not the same thing as leaf Mario, right? Obviously, right here, we can see that there's one of these plant seeds right over here where you see my mouse. Um, and I think you're going to need multiple of those to spawn the uh, flower. So let's get right into it, right? So Mario runs, looking adorable, you know, getting his thing. Look at his little, I just, again, I cannot get over these little, you know, cute little wild frames. And the reason these frames are weird, right, it's good because the game is animating. You know, it's showing you the full animation, which means a lot more than just, you know, Mario spawns in being big. Seeing the whole form happen right before your eyes is raw cash money. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So here comes Mario and just the perfect jump, the perfect jump. Now, Another thing we see a lot in this trailer is Goombas sleeping. There's a lot of sleeping Goombas. Now, I don't know if if this seems to me like it's implying something. You know, there's some kind of dream state going on or something. Maybe this is like Mario 2 where the whole game is a dream. I don't know. Maybe I'm being an asshole. Who really knows? All right, anyways, Mario goes over here, gets a little good score when he jumps on him. Great and super. I love the little grading system right here. It's awesome. It's everything I love in this world, and it's just, it's so good, bro. It makes me so happy. And obviously, by the way, you can look here. There are more sleeping Goombas in the background. You see the back there? There's sleeping Goombas in the background. There's pipe hills, which is kind of raw. And it's just, there's, I, I wonder... What's going on? You know what I mean? Now, also, how do I break this? I probably got to stomp on it. Now, something else I noticed right away. We're in this shot here. We got a background area. We got another plant seed in the background here, right? But something cool that I don't think we talk about here, right, is this pir piranha plant. Look at him. He leaves the plant and he just comes walking to you. Why is he doing that? You're not supposed to do that. That's fucked up. You're sick. You're a sick person. So... By the way, how come no one ever talks about the fact that when you jump on these music blocks, Mario does like a mega high jump. Like, look at that. Whoa. And he goes so high up. He's so cute. And look at him. When he goes high up, you look look how happy he is, bro. Look how happy he is doing that mega jump. You know what I'm saying? And then you get these little rhinos. I like how the rhinos take over the floor here. I like how you get the 10 excellent coin here. Now... I still don't know what these purple coins do. I've been trying to figure it out myself, but what's cool, right, is you also have the little um, pumpkin Goombas that have come back, and these rhinos, you can sort of, not the rhinos, whatever they're called, hippos, you can sort of hit them, uh, and the best score I'm seeing you can get here is wonderful. So you can go great, super fantastic, excellent, incredible, wonderful. So wonderful is uh, the final score tally that's going on here. Now, obviously here, we have peak rails, obviously inspired by Sonic. No one else has ever done them. And I, I really don't want to hear otherwise. Now, here's what's interesting. Is the flowers here are different than the other flower. Now, this matters because I think there are different colored flowers. Because look, again, here, they're pink. Whereas the other ones were blue. I don't know what that means, what that's implying. But it feels like there's going to be another one. Also, there's a new enemy over here. Look how, so look, how, look how this guy's looking at you. He's disturbed by seeing this plumber. And so am I, honestly. So, Mario Grind Rails gets his excellent... He sees these enemies. He's spawning in these rings. Now, also, these flowers could just be spawning rings, and I'm being dumb. Also, this cloud is terrifying. Also, I love the background here. It reminds me of that old iPhone game. What the fuck was it called? Um, not Baldur's Gate. It was probably Baldur's Gate 2 or something. I don't fucking know. Whatever. So, Mario goes here. We're in another world here. Obviously, we can see this wave background. I love how this hill is just a giant wave. It's fire. And again, look, look down here. You see this? The flower is a different color, and I don't know if every world's going to have a different flower. I've been trying to figure it out myself. And also, by the way, you can have an extra item here. I just uh, I forgot to mention that you can have an extra item where I'm pointing the this over here. So that's really cool. So anyways, 
Mario goes over here, swimming, gets his little little hint. But actually, it's, I'd say it's probably better if I just if I just chill in this corner. So here he comes now. This part again, another world in the game. I do actually hope that these aren't all worlds because I would like these. You know, I would like aesthetics to constantly change in the world you're in. Um, but obviously, you know, you got the fall sunset area. We've talked about these roller skating goombas, not much. Again, you could do a mega jump off these blocks. Now, I want to talk about something. Now, you see this M block that spawns up here. This this little M block. I wonder if that has something to do with that article we saw recently that each character is going to get their own type of power-up. I don't think it does because at the end of this trailer, Mario just hits a regular block and the elephant comes out of it. But I'm not sure what exactly this is. But this is unique to Mario, uh, not the other characters. Also, I love something really small here is that you can see the shadow in the background of the street. Again, it's a small detail, but it matters. You know what I'm saying? It matters to the people. So... There's Mario going through this pipe. We've seen this. Again, very nice, beautiful animations. Very well done. And again, we're back to the blue seeds. I'm guessing these are maybe the color it is for that world. Because see, you get this, right? And then it goes down there, splashes, and gives Mario the Wonder Flower animation. So what I'm guessing is each world, maybe you collect a certain amount of these uh, and you get a Wonder Flower. I don't know if there's going to be a Wonder Flower every level um, or it's going to be certain levels that make use of it because I feel like it's a sec it's an entirely second version of the level. Um, and I wonder how much it's going to fuck with the game, basically, you know, in a lot of good ways, right? So here comes Mario, all drugged up. You can see the backgrounds, you know, going up and down. You got the pipes over here, up and then he's... Panicking. He doesn't like what's going on here. Right? You got some water over here that I love. Mario has a little spin jump. By the way, that I don't think we we talked about. So very cool that I don't know if this is you doing an input to do the spin jump or Mario just does this. I I do hope he has the spin jump because it's just it's a nice little extra move that gives you a nice extra movement that I like. And also the piranha plant is dead. So when you're in this state, this piranha plant is dead. Or that's actually a wonder seed that's just not alive because you're already in the wonder world. And when you're in the wonder world, look about me. Um, um, these purple things have decimals. So it's not like that in the regular world, but it's like that when you're in Wonder State, where you see you're getting 0.5s for these coins you're collecting. So I don't know why it does that when you're in there, but for some reason when you're collecting, like, I guess these little pieces count as, like, decimal pe uh, numbers, whereas, like, the regular pieces or the 10 pieces count as big ones. But again, I just, I still don't know what they do. Inherently, you know what I mean? I got no idea because we got coins and we have seeds that give us the wonder flower So I'm not sure what these purple thingies are doing anyway, so hippo world goes crazy We have a wonder uh, Flower seed thing that you can get on top of this guy I think there's two per level from what we see later in this trailer uh, I also love Mario really like panicking over here, which is really cool. So this is awesome I wonder if this level I'm guessing this isn't them tying to the rhythm. Maybe the level really does bounce up and down ba oh yeah it does this level 100 percent bounces up and down based on mario's movement because you can see here right when mario right goes down here i'm trying i'm trying to get that motion look when he ducks right the level ducks when he stretches up he stretches up and i also wonder i wonder if this is a power up like i wonder if this stretch thing is a power up in itself or it's a wonder state thing this is looking to me more like a wonder state thing because the music and the background is all shiny and glowy so but it's cool that each level might have unique aspects to the wonder flower god I, I need to see more of this game bro so anyways we get obviously rock mario's return from galaxy not exactly rock mario he's a different mario uh, and also something i noticed here right is this bug enemy so we got a new little bug enemy back here. Uh, he's also dead because Mario murdered him. So that happens. You know what I'm saying? It's a sad world. Also, nice little touch no one talks about, right? The coins are dancing in the Wonder State. Look at that. Look at the coins. They're, they're doing a little, little dance in the Wonder State too. Even, even the coins are jammed. You know, they're like, hey, man, this is a banger. I'm all in. So anyways, you break through these walls. You get the little coins. Roll, roll, roll. Now, I'm also wondering. I wonder if this pipe is aesthetic or if you could like jump into that mid thing here and go into a different area. But it probably could just be aesthetic. I mean, there's always aesthetic pipes. We've got our little guys over here. I love these little rhino dudes. We've got now, this is interesting. Um, the flagpole, look at that. Has a wonder flag on it. Now, obviously, I wonder if I'm trying to wonder like if you don't have the wonder seed on, right? Do you just beat this level here? Because I'm I'm that's what I'm trying to wonder. Is like, is like, is this something where like 
if you don't have the one to see the level ends here because the house is here and everything um or is this a forced moment where you have to do this i don't know or maybe levels extend past uh the flagpole if you have the wonder seed with it because again it is timed as well so that would be kind of cool though if there's more to the level because you got uh the wonder seed or flower in it uh, the wonder flower this is the wonder seed by the way so yeah there it is wonder seed you get two of these per level and i'm guessing these are your you know your power up for the game so anyways Another sleeping Goomba right here while wow, this guy is big chilling over there. Anyways, I'm sounding like a psychopath. It's fine. So music switch up over there. Fire. I love the map. I love the map. This is obviously the world one map. Now, the reason you know this is world one is because look at that. The giant flower here that you saw in the first level is in the background over there. So this is obviously world one, uh, which is very cool. So we're going to go back over here. Welcome to the flower. I mean, also, yeah, the level name is called Welcome to the Flower Kingdom. So also, I guess this is the first time I hear that this is the flower kingdom, but maybe I'm just stupid. I didn't pay attention to things as I usually do. And I'm trying to look here. So there's one, two, three three four five levels up into the end here and i'm wondering you see the flower up there i wonder if that's where you unlock daisy because i think we actually see what that thing looks like uh later in this trailer we'll talk about that so piranha plants on parade called that shit a ppp and then Peach is chasing this enemy. Nothing too notable here, uh, except, you know, that enemy dies and Peach is climbing over here. We've seen these enemies before. We've talked about this. Nothing too much I've discovered over rewatching this. I feel like this is a cool sand sky level. Like, maybe this is the sky. Uh, maybe this is the pyramid sand level, but it's in the sky because you can see, like, you know, a lot of sand in the background. But adorable little toad, as always. There is the goat, Daisy, obviously fighting for her life, fighting this enemy. But before we see this enemy, right, if we back up just a little bit to before, you know, Daisy's doing the thing again background over here wonder seed you can get so you're gonna have to experiment with going down these pipes i wonder if the ones with maybe the moss on them or ones you can't go in this one's reverse which is kind of fucked up so maybe you have to go in this one or the one you know that they're fighting for over here so that's really cool love that here's another world we're in i i'm guessing like yeah this is where like a flower lands or you meet daisy or something but i don't think so because the other world ended with this little flower pattern on the floor so not sure and also here's bowser's tower we could see obviously you know he's all fucked up he's got green teeth uh he's also got these cool shell bomb protectors going on here that, so that's fire and here we get another world map over here the sky world we could see one of these new toad like creatures we've got a level here now this right here you see this little little thing here i'm guessing this is a level you unlock for having a certain amount of wonder seeds so obviously these are gonna unlock levels for you so you're probably gonna want to catch as many of them as you can also there's a new enemy over here this little flying bird thingies maybe they're not enemies here they're just aesthetic and i'm being a weirdo um but actually what's interesting about them if you go back right like these guys are just kind of flying and standing still now i'm wondering if you know maybe like you go here and I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking. There's probably nothing to it, but there's probably a level there. There's a level here we can see. There's a level here and uh, another level, another level. So this world is that kind of beefy. You know, there's a lot of levels in this world I'm seeing. Maybe that looks like a world five to me you know looking like a world five so this part you know we've seen a lot of i'm thinking this is still world one because again you can see like the pipes uh in the background here a bit of a sunset view which i really like you got the wow zippy nothing too crazy we've already talked about this wiggler going on here's some more multiplayer aspects shown we got luigi and again very cool thing is there's no collision between the teammates notice that you don't bump into each other uh, i think they did that on purpose because i think while maybe they want the multiplayer to be chaotic fun, they would want it to be annoying like it used to be. So you can stomp on the cheap cheeps here. Now, here's a really interesting thing here, right? So you see this, there's this little bug on top of Mario's head, this little caterpillar. Um, and then when Mario turns off this, you don't see him anymore. Now, it could obviously just be because, you know, he's in the dark, but I don't know. There's something weird about that little caterpillar we've seen him in like the, you know the he's in the key art for the game as well but i don't know what he does maybe you have to take him to the end of the game or something but now once again right you can see this right here so look wonder seed completely different color than world one so i'm guessing every world might just have a different color wonder seed and that's that for that i don't think there's anything too much deeper than it you know and there's actually another theory to that so Obviously, we're in, like, the Mushroom Hill area. We got a new enemy over here, which is fire. Uh, we've got some coins. We've got rideable Yoshi, which I love so much. Now, I've been thinking about this, right? What is going on with this? Because I'm trying to see, right? Because now I want y'all to pay attention to something, right? Our little boy here, Flower Boy, he's red over here. 
Is he getting angry, perhaps? Is he becoming malicious? You know, does he have intent to kill? I don't know. He might want to kill me. I'm not sure. There's a lot of people that want to kill me in this world. You know, and he might be one of them, but I'm not sure. And again, guys, look. This Goomba is still sleeping. Are all the Goombas sleeping? I don't know, but there's something to it. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it one, one day. Wonder day? One day. So, anyways. So, we're back here. Now, I'm wondering if this is just a mechanic you unlock later because i would love this i would love if there was just a mechanic later on in the game that you unlock where you can just start floating on your hat like this through big gaps i don't know because it doesn't seem like they activated anything they just kind of jumped off a platform and the guy said time to fly i haven't seen them do this anywhere else in the trailer so maybe it's exclusive to this world or again maybe it's a thing you get later on it doesn't look like they're being powered up or have anything on them also notice how here there is no press A to get a power-up. So maybe that's just me being annoying about it. And there's nothing really special about that. But um, here. So this is actually, this part here is actually the end of World 1. So if we go back to like that part where, you know, Luigi is here, right? We can see this over here. So then, right, we can go back and analyze that. Yeah, that is actually the end of uh, World 1 over there. So I'm guessing you use these flowers to start flying to the next world. And that next world, if you could tell, is like where we saw Bowser's like ship flying around uh, like crazy. So, and again, another theory of my thinking of the flower being a different color in every world. Here it is. The flower is yellow here. So I'm thinking every world might just have a different color flower. Maybe the one we saw where he's floating on the head uh, is going to be a red flower world. I'm not sure. But either way, they get the wonder seed. Platform changes. Gang is freaking out here, which I very much love. You know, look at that. Look at that nice animation of the gang being like, being like, whoa, look at them. Love this. Super cartoony in the best way possible. So anyways, not too much to see here. They're running. Uh, Peach as the star uh, over here. So star power up, I guess, confirmed not to be surprising or anything. But yeah, here's Bowser Jr. being corrupted. We've kind of talked about this. Everyone's talked about this. I'm trying to see if there's anything else here new. There's this little, little enemy over here that we see for the first time, which is very cool. Um, here we are in Wonder State. Because you can see, again, there's the decimal points up there. So we are in Wonder State at this point. And yeah, so here, obviously, we have the confirmation of the four playable Yoshis. Uh, each can have their own power-up. Here, here we see that there's four. I'm wondering if it means each have their own, or you could just carry up the four when you're four players. But we've got the Bulbas. This looks pretty late into the game, by the way, because, look, you can tell Bowser's big castle is right over there. We can just see it. There it is. There's Bowser's endgame castle with a swirly here. Uh, this is the same swirlier, by the way, that those toads in this game have. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Maybe those toads, you know, gave him something. Or he's using their power. It's probably he's, like, exhorting their powers or something of the kingdom, you know. So either way, we got the cool bullet bills over here. We got the toads. Uh, the, the Yoshis. Why am I seeing the toads? But again, my question is, can you be a Yoshi and ride a Yoshi in a different level. Because I'm trying to look at this Yoshi's design, right? Versus the one we see later. You know, I'm trying to trying to see what's going on here. And I don't think this is the same design. This stuff looks like a darker, uh, you know, a darker Yoshi. And also, oh, wait. Am I dumb? Wait a second. I just figured something out. Look, that's Yoshi right there. So, I'm not sure. Maybe, because Yoshi's here. So this is clearly a second player, but maybe when you're Yoshi, that's like an assist character that like you can actually ride because yeah, it's the same icon too. That's interesting. I didn't think about that, huh? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Yoshi's like the assist baby character where like, you know, he's got an easier jump, but I guess a second player could hop on top of him, but that might be annoying too. I'm not sure. Either way, end of the trailer right here. This is again, end of world one, you could tell because it's that same grassy green world aesthetic we've got this little house that's going on here i'm guessing there's going to be other power-ups there and there's your second wonder seed i'm guessing you get the second wonder seed for just beating the level i guess there's only one in the level which makes it probably more fun than getting the star coins because i always had like the star coins while they were fun some of them were annoying to get in new super mario Bros. you like you'd have to like i know you'd have to annoyingly search the level in some parts where you're like this isn't fun this is just stupid um so i do hope that it is yeah one wonder see is just fun to find then one you get for beating the level here's this little guy over here i'm guessing this is a prince this little this little bug right here is a prince you've got the whole gang cheering and uh there's that's it that's the mario wonder trailer for the 1000 first time october uh not much else obviously except here the end actually 
Fun fact, this is actually the beginning of the first level. So if you look here, right, where you're standing on these blocks, if we look in the beginning of this trailer, um, back at this, sort of, let me, let me go all the way back. Is it before Mario gets the blocks? No, it's around here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, here. So you see here, right, there's the 10, and then there's this block formation, uh, and then they skip right away. But yeah, that is where, you know, Mario goes here. So you're going to get, like, the elephant power of, like, the first thing when you open this game. So you go here, and there it is. Elephant uh, for Mario. Big red. Wowie Zowie getting his little elephant form. He'll probably be able to roll into those blocks next to you, and obviously... He kills the Goomba, you know, and he is dead and will never live to see another day. And there it is. That's all I got for you. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for joining me in my uh, mental illness session of watching this trailer for the 10 million time. Uh, I love you guys. Uh, peace out and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.